وصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي يا رب لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك Dear brothers and sisters, as we know, the holy and the blessed month of Ramadan will leave soon. Few days are remaining, so we should do struggle more and more to earn maximum hasanat rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Beside it, these efforts, we should purify our hearts for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in Quran, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا Indeed, He succeeds who purifies him, His Himself. Obey and perform all that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered by following the true faith of Islamic monotheism and by doing righteous good deeds. In the next ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا And indeed, he fails who corrupt his own self and dis disobey that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered by rejecting the true faith of the Islamic monotheism or by following uh, polytheism or by doing every kind of evil wicked deed. Allah says in Quran, يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونٌ إِلَّا مَنْ أَطَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٌ And Allah said, A day when there will be no benefit in wealth or children, but only in he who comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a pure heart. We learn from these verses that our success is in the hereafter depends upon the purification of our heart in this life. We must purify our hearts from spiritual sins such as greed, arrogance and worldliness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ تَزَكَّى وَذَكَرَ اسْمَ رَبِّهِ فَصُلَّى He has succeeded who purifies himself, who remembers the name of his Rabb and prays when he is do ibadah. And he remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do pray. So we also try to spend our maximum time for uh, doing good deeds, righteous deeds. So uh, these are now few days left of the blessed months. So we should try to give maximum time for the ibadah. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil